Hey guys, Cheerful Veteran here with another guitar tutorial. And um, today I'm going to be showing you how to play um, Leonard Skinner's Simple Man. Now, I do have to say one thing right quick. Um, uh, for You can play this in standard tuning, but, um, but if you listen to the album, they play it down a half step. It's tuned down half step, so if you want to play along with the album, you'll have to tune down a half step. So basic. So um, it's hard for me to. It's not really hard to explain um, how to tune down a half step. So here's how it goes: the sixth string will sound like this. Fifth string will sound like this. Fourth string will sound like this. Third string will sound like this. Second string will sound like this. And first string will sound like this. Put them together and you have this. Alright, so I'm going to do a quick run through of this right quick. And then I'm going to teach you guys how to play. Okay guys, so um, that that was on um, the intro to uh, Leonard Skinner's Simple Man, so um, now let's get to teaching this. Um, so, the, it's, it's all up in, um, hang on. This is um, the, where it goes up to um, for the strings, so all these, this side of the strings you don't even have to use. Wait, these frets you don't even have to use. From this fret all the way there, you, those are the frets you use. So, first chord is a C chord. Now, if you don't know what a C chord is, it sounds like it sounds like this when it's tuned down a half step. And um, so, basically, well, how it is is um, first finger, second string, first fret, second finger, um, fourth string, fourth string, second fret, third finger. 5th string, 3rd fret. But, um, for the song, you're gonna start the intro out, um, going like this. Um, pluck the 5th string open. Next, you put that, you put that, next, um, 5th string, 2nd fret with your 2nd finger. Next, you do the 5th string, 3rd fret with your 3rd finger. Then, then you put your finger down on the fourth string, same fret, but just the fourth string for the C chord formation. So, so far we have this. I mean, oops. Then next we have this little picking combination. So it's um five. Wait, five, 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 three. Four, five, two, three, four, three. So, so far we have this. Next chord is a G chord. Now there's now there's a bunch of ways to do this chord. Um, the traditional way, not but not for this song, 
I don't like to use it for the song. You you take this is on one of the ways. You take your first finger, fifth string, second fret, second finger, sixth string, third fret, third finger on the uh on the uh, second string, third fret, fourth finger on the first string, third fret, and it sounds like this. Now try to listen for a difference. Next, what, another way you can do is um, you take your second finger, put it on the sixth string, third fret, and you mute and you mute the fifth string. So it's like, it's like that's what the fifth string will sound like, basically. And um, basically for this one, you, basically for this form of the G chord, you just remove your first finger and you go like this. You the difference? All right. And the way that um I use it for this song is um, you you go you you do it like this. You do do second second finger on the fifth string, second fret, third finger, sixth string, third fret. And first finger on the f on the first string third fret sounds like <laughs> all right. And for this one, um, what you could do if you're a beginner is um if you if you can't um hold your pinky down you you don't have to hold it there you can just do your second and third finger right there. So the next so the next way you pick it is um. Six, five, wait, six, four, five, six, three, five, I mean four, five, four. Next chord is an A minor. Now an A minor is, um, is a, uh, you take your first finger, second string, first fret, second finger, fourth, fourth string, second fret, third finger, third string, second fret. But for this song, you're also going to add your pinky on the first string, third fret. So it's going to sound like this. So you go like this for this one. You go five, wait, five, three, four, five, two, 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 Then you go one, two, and also what I like to do is I like to when I when it gets to that note when it gets to this note, I usually um leave my pinky off of it until that note, and I go and I I let my finger go down on it, so it sounds like this. So um. Here's all here's what we have so far. Wait. Okay, let me start that over. Sorry. Take two. So we have that so far, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that four you're gonna do that four times. Then you're going to um, do this little thing, which is um, this. Wait, oh gosh, oh my gosh, I keep on doing that. So it's like this. So let me do a quick one through. And you do that two times. So basically the, what it is, is just like the way you start, this this little thing right here actually what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your first finger for this you're gonna go up. same thing open open second fret third fret then you're gonna take um, your third fit I mean yeah yeah your third finger slide it up to um wait hang on
Six, I mean eight. Seventh fret, you're gonna go like this. Like, you're gonna slide, then you're gonna slide it back down. Your third finger still on the string, like up uh, to the uh, fifth fret. So it's gonna sound like. See? Then you're gonna go third fret, then sixth. This is the. the this one is the fifth string. And you're gonna go up a string to the sixth string, third fret, and go. Then you're gonna go like this again. Instead of um that note you're gonna go to the you're gonna go to the sixth fret oh, wait hang on is it no that's a fifth fret on the sixth string then you're gonna take your first finger on on the sixth string third fret and go wait first you're gonna do open next third fret open That, then you're gonna go third fret, then you're gonna slide up to the fifth fret, like so. It's like this so far. Oh my gosh, I keep on doing that, I don't know why. So that's how it is so far. You do that two times. Then you go back to this and you do this once. Actually, you do this thing twice. You do the thing that we started off with, the... And then once you've done that two times, you, you do a C chord. Okay, and so that is all you have to do for this. Um, I'll, be, I'll be making some more videos and um i'll be uploading them so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe to become a veteran again that was leonard skinner's simple man um be sure to subscribe to become a veteran i know i already said that but i'm saying it again and i'll see you later bye